A memorial service was held today for the Department of Corrections canine killed in the line of duty last week. Rashad Hudson has the story of how Jake is being remembered. Jake and Sergeant Quentin Jones were partners for six years. Today their bond was described as unbreakable until the end of watch for Jake. It's a story of two partners with one mission. So that bond was very special. I spent more time talking about my problems with him than I did my wife. Although Jake couldn't answer back, he and Sergeant Jones had a deep understanding of each other. By spending so much time, we developed, we morphed into one. He knew what I was thinking. I knew what he was thinking. Jones was upbeat when talking about Jake, but in the quiet moments, he realizes the duo is no more. His death was not in vain. Today was a big day for the Department of Corrections. Tuesday, the Department of Corrections held a memorial service for Jake the Canine. Unlike a lot of canine dogs, uh, he had a very uh, playful side to him, and we all, we all enjoyed that. Jake died last week after becoming ill while detecting a narcotic during a contraband search at one of the state's prisons. He had a reputation among our inmate population of being effective and being fearsome, uh, and so the inmates recognized that. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, WKRG News 5. K-9 Jake served with the Alabama Department of Corrections for five years. On July 18th, he was exposed to a substance while performing a narcotic search at the Staten Correctional Facility. Jake immediately became unresponsive and was rushed to the prison's health care unit where nurses performed CPR. K-9 Jake died two days later.